Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today I'm looking at the Miami Dolphins, San Francisco 49ers, and Philadelphia Eagles after all three teams have made a trade in the NFL draft. It was breaking news that the Miami Dolphins have traded number three overall to the San Francisco 49ers in exchange for 12th overall this year, a first rounder in 2022 and 2023, along with a third rounder this year as well, which is breaking news in itself. Niners now have third overall, Dolphins have 12th overall. But just about 10 minutes later, if that, the Miami Dolphins moved back up and switched with the Philadelphia Eagles. The Miami Dolphins went from 12th overall to 6th overall, and the Eagles went to 12th overall, and they will get a 4th rounder and a 2022 first rounder in exchange for that. So in reality, Miami Dolphins basically got an extra first round pick, an extra third round pick to move back three spots in the NFL draft. Pretty good move. In my opinion, if you're sticking with Tua Tungvaluwa, I don't know what the Dolphins, I don't know what any of these teams' vision is, really. You have to think the Niners are moving up to take a quarterback. There's no way you sacrifice, excuse me, your first-round picks in 2022 and 2023, the following two years, just to, you know, take a tackle or something. They're doing exactly what the Rams did. They looked in their division, and they saw, the Rams looked in their division when they had Goff and said, we got the worst quarterback, Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, Jimmy Garoppolo, Goff, bottom. Now it's flipped around and the Niners are like, it goes Russell Wilson, Matt Stafford, Kyler Murray, Garoppolo. We have to make a change and that is exactly what they're doing. And number three overall, a lot of people think they'll go Trey Lance or Justin Fields, assuming Zach Wilson is taken to number two by the Jets, but I believe the Jets will not take um, Zach Wilson. I think they're sticking with Sam Darnold. Either at number two, they're going to take Penny Sewell to protect him, or could we see the Jets make a trade as well and, you know, scoot back? And really what this screamed to me initially when I just saw the Niners and Dolphins trade, I was like, well, the Dolphins have two firsts this year. They'd have three the following year and two in 2023. Or excuse me, two in the next two years. Two this year, two 22, and two in 2023. They got six first rounders over the next three years. This screams Deshaun Watson all over it. You don't get up this much draft capital just to, you know, obviously just to draft. To me, that screams even a bigger blockbuster trade, but with them moving back up to number six, I think they have a quarterback in mind as well. Either way, it is super interesting to me. Just looking at who has what now, the Niners are number three overall. I seriously think Zach Wilson will not be picked by the Jets, and I think the Niners pick up Zach Wilson, which is a great move by them. They're investing in them now. They have a pretty young roster as far as your star power talent. I mean, George Kittle's relatively young. Zach Wilson's going to be a rookie. Nick Bosa's only going to be in his third year. Um, Brandon Ayuk's really young. Debo Samuel's really young. Your star studded guys on this team are young. So really, that is okay that they don't have, that they're investing in the future because this team will only get better and grow. And Zach Wilson behind Jimmy G for a year is not a bad move. It's not like Jimmy G is garbage. Zach Wilson will learn a lot from him, and I like this move. Looking at the Dolphins at number six, if Trey Lance is around, this screams Trey Lance to me. You don't move up, not just for no reason. You don't give up a first rounder just for no reason. To me, they still have a QB in mind, but they're not gonna, you know, beg to see what happens. They're not gonna trade up. They're not gonna stick with number three because they're that desperate. They're just gonna see what falls in their lap, whether it be Trey Lance, Justin Fields. Mac Jones is not going at number six overall, but who knows? This, this is probably one of the craziest off seasons in NFL history. I mean, the quarterback carousel of Stafford and Carson Wentz and Deshaun Watson being traded. Russell Wilson at one point was going to get traded. And then you have these type of trades in the NFL draft. It is just crazy moves. And the Eagles dropping back to number 12. This shows that they're probably going to stick with um, Jalen Hurts or else they would stay at number six and, you know, stand their ground because they'd want a QB, I think, at number 12. They're going to hopefully hope for a receiver. Maybe they could get a Devontae Smith or a, you know, Kyle Pitts. If he falls to 12, I think the Eagles would love that just to give Jalen Hurts a weapon. Or they're maybe looking at offensive line, Rashawn Slater, Elijah Vera Tucker, a lot of options. Or they'll go on defense. Anyway, I don't think the Eagles are looking at a quarterback because of this drop back unless miraculously something falls in their lap, you know, somehow, some way. Like a Zach Wilson falls to 12, I don't think the Eagles will play, complain. I think at that point they'll take a quarterback. But right now, I think the Niners are set on a QB, whether it be Zach Wilson or Trey Lance or Justin Fields. And I think the Dolphins are set on a QB, whoever is left over, whether it be Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, or Justin Fields. Or maybe they just want to back up and said, hey, we still want, we wanted Jamar Chase from the beginning at number three. And now we, and we still want him at number six. So really they just moved back to get the same guy they wanted. So if they're invested in Tua and all they were planning on doing was getting him a weapon 
and Jamar Chase is still available at six. This was a great move because you got an extra first round pick and you still got the same exact guy you wanted. I just don't know their vision. And the Eagles, like I said, them moving back is good for them because if they're not investing in a new QB, they might as well invest in Jalen Hurts and that's what they're doing and they're investing in next year's wealth because they will now have two first rounders to invest in Jalen Hurts and their entire team. Overall, I love the the nonsense and the off-season shenanigans that has happened here with the trades. But let me know what you guys, what other videos you guys want to see. Do you want me to do a deep analysis on just the Dolphins and what they should do, just the Niners and what they should do, and just the Eagles and what they should do? This one wasn't that deep. It was just kind of an update to give you guys my off-the-top-of-my-head opinion and see what I think. But if you guys want me to go into a specific team, let me know. I will get on it. And, of course, thanks for watching, guys. And, really, this was awesome to see. I'd still love to see the Dolphins go out for Deshaun Watson because of the draft capital they have. But who knows? They might think two was their guy. Thanks for watching, guys. Two minutes more.